From the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi there, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 19th of October. Former US Secretary of State Colin Powell has died from complications related to COVID-19. The 84-year-old retired four-star general was fully vaccinated, making him one of the most high-profile US public figures to die of a breakthrough infection. US Vice President Kamala Harris paid tribute to Mr Powell, saying he was a trailblazer. He is the first black person, black man to be Joint Chiefs chairman of the Joint Chiefs, to be National Security Advisor, to be Secretary of State. Every step of the way, when he filled those roles, he was, by everything that he did and the way he did it, inspiring so many people. Back home now, and it's been revealed more than 40 police staff in Victoria have been stood down for refusing to get the COVID vaccine. It's compulsory for police officers in the state to get the jab unless they have a medical exemption. The officers will be referred to the Professional Standards Command and could lose their jobs. To Western Australia, and the search continues today for a four-year-old girl who went missing from a campsite on Saturday morning. Cleo Smith was last seen at about 1.30am in her family's tent at the Blowholes campsite in McLeod. A search using helicopters, drones and SES crews has failed to find any trace of Cleo and police have said it's possible she was abducted. To sport now, an Irish all-rounder has become only the third person in history to take a double hat-trick in men's international cricket. Curtis Kampfer achieved the rare feat during Ireland's match against the Netherlands at the T20 World Cup. There's another one, four and four, Curtis Kampfer. What are you delivering on those cannonballs or cricket balls? Four and four. To showbiz, the yellow wiggle Emma Watkins has announced that she's leaving the group after 11 years. She wants to spend more time at home and wants to complete her PhD. Watkins will hand the yellow skivvy to 21-year-old Sahai Hawkins, who is a Latin dance champion. And finally, Kanye West has officially changed his name. A Los Angeles judge has approved the rapper's request to change his name to Ye. The billionaire said he made the change for personal reasons. That's it from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Your update from news.com.au.